Hey guys, Sucker from Saki Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to activate a hidden feature on many Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started right away. So first let me show you exactly what I'm talking about and then I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So right here at the bottom you can see a black bar. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to change the color of that bar. So as you can see right now it has turned into a red color because that's how I set it up. Now you can see that it is in fact green color. And here's what it looks like on the home screen. You can see it looks really, really nice and makes your phone more customizable. So let's dive in and see how to get the exact color you want down there. And also change the size and some other features in relation to this gesture navigation bar. All right, so to activate this feature, you are gonna need the GoodLock application. That is this application right here. It is an official Samsung application, the GoodLock application. Now, if you don't have this application, okay, go to the store, the Galaxy store, and tap on it, and then simply tap on search and look for the GoodLock application, all right? It's gonna pop up right here. Once you have it, I want you guys to go ahead and install this. It is 100% free and it is designed and made by Samsung for Samsung phones exclusively. Now once you have it, there's going to be a bunch of modules here. The module you're going to need to get this bar customized is this one right here. Under makeup, scroll down till you see the nav star module, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to click on it and it's going to take you to the store from where you can install that Navstar module under the GoodLock application. Once it is installed, you tap on it, it's going to launch it. Now you can see mine is turned on, but yours is going to be turned off by default. When you turn this off, this disappears as well. So I'm going to tap on turn on, that's what you're going to do as well, and then you're going to scroll down, okay? And at the bottom you have the gesture handle option. This is also going to be turned off by default. So you're going to turn that on, and the first thing, you can pick any color you want right from here. So look at this. I'm just going to say blue. I'm going to tap on done. Now it is that dark blue color. Or I can tap it. I can say red. Now it's going to be that bright red color. But on top of that, you can also change the width. So you look at this. I can make it smaller, or I can make it wider, as you can see. And I can make it transparent, middle, or all the way fully visible as you can see. So that is incredible. Now one more thing I want to show you guys is if you have the buttons navigation set up, you can customize those as well. So for example, if I go to my settings, and if I go to my display, and if I scroll down to navigation bar right here, and if I switch to the buttons, look at what happens. I have the buttons. Now when I go back over here, I can enable nav star so when I enable this I can make modifications like this so look at this I have these buttons now okay which is fantastic I can do this I can do this I can do this I can even customize it further by adding additional buttons or just make it look as customizable as I please I can even change the actual height you can see they became smaller if you need smaller buttons, more real sc screen estate, you can do that as well. So you have all these fantastic options, but in this video specifically, I did want to go over capability to actually change the color of that swipe gesture. I think at this point, most people use the swipe gestures. So that's the one you want to customize and get it the color that you want. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys real quick is, you can see when I pull back, you have this back arrow right here, okay, on the screen. The back arrow shows up. You can change the color of that back arrow as well. Look at this. I can do red, and now when I pull this back, that back arrow is also red. So you can all add all these fantastic little customization touches, make them color match or whatever, uh, make your phone more customizable. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. Any questions, comments, drop them down below. For now, have a fantastic day.